Hello everybody, my name is Andre and I'm one of the persons building Scuttlebutt, helping to build it. And I get a lot of questions about how does Scuttlebutt work. Some of these questions are very frequent. So I decided to make a series of videos answering some of these questions. Let's go to the first one. How is Scuttlebutt different to Mastodon, Diaspora, Twitter, Steemit and Facebook? Well, all of these others that I mentioned, they are very different between each other, but they all share one thing in common, which is they are uh, they require servers on the internet, which means they also require user registration to make an account and log in and that kind of stuff. So that means that they are on the internet. So if you're offline, uh, you're not going to be able to access those social networks or you're going to access them, but it's sort of like a partial experience. Now, there's also another aspect that all of these social networks share is that you need a server where to put that social platform and those servers require some kind of administrator running them. So in the case of Twitter and Facebook, that's a company that's running the servers both on the technical side as well as moderating the content. Um, but then, you know, we have Mastodon and Diaspora that have, you know, so-called pods or instances, which means that anyone can run a server if they if they are willing to or if they know how to do it. Um, but that turns out to have some important aspects to it, which means that to run a server, you need to be a little bit tech savvy or understand what you're doing there with servers, um, as well as knowing how to moderate the community from a social aspect. And not everybody has that good intersection of skills uh, you know, tech savvy as well as community moderation, which turns out that not not a lot of people run servers. And there's, of course, a lot of people who are normal users. So it turns out to have like a two two tier um, system or social system where, you know, there's the people who run the stuff who have more power and people who just use it who don't have that much power. So Scuttlebutt is very different to all of this because it doesn't have any kind of separation of, of you know, social separation because there's no servers where the social network is hosted. There's, it's not like a social platform on the internet. So we call it quite often off the grid, uh, which means that it's not on the internet. It's actually literally on the devices. So for instance, um, my phone is not accessing a social platform. My phone is literally a mini social platform. The phone is the platform. So for instance, on my phone, uh, I have Maniverse, which is a Scuttlebutt uh, app, and it, it has about four gigabytes of, of data. So I have a lot of uh, friend content here, either pictures and, and posts, which means that uh, those friends upload their content, not to some cloud, but they upload it to my phone, as well as to a bunch of other phones. And also, the other way around, when I post something, it, it gets saved on my phone first because my phone is a platform, but it also gets uploaded to my friend's phones. So that's a very interesting sort of like copy-paste um, system where, you know, everything I say gets copy-pasted to my friend's phones and that kind of thing. So in, to interact with the platform, I interact with my phone and I don't need to be online. I could actually... I've used this while taking off from an airplane. I've used it when hiking. You know, you can use it anywhere where there's no internet, as as normal as as when you do have internet. But we are also learning a lot how it's uh, different in terms of uh, moderation. Um, we we say that you know everybody is a moderator, and that may sound very sort of like a foreign concept, but it turns out to be very natural. We've been doing this as humans for a very long time. Um, for instance, when I invite people to my home, right, my home is hosting those people. And every time you visit someone's house, I mean, each house has a different sort of social dynamics and culture and rules, maybe. So that turns out to be very natural. We're discovering a lot of interesting things in Scuttlebutt. And Scuttlebutt is like work in progress. We are uh, always building it. There's some things that are not perfect yet, both technically and um things that we're discovering how to use it socially but it's a it's been a very interesting uh like direction that we're going towards and we hope to build it as well as we imagine 
Um, so of course we, we want everybody to sort of be involved, give feedback, and we, we hope that this won't be like a social network where there's this two-tier system of you know people who run it and people who use it, but everybody is sort of involved. That's sort of like the scuttlebutt ethos. I hope that answers the question how it's different.